Hello, friends. Welcome back. This is M Dog. All right, we are uh, up here on the 75 meter hole. Actually, let me see if we've drifted any. Yeah, we've drifted a little bit. Let's reposition. I do want to kind of stay a little bit in this northwest cod quadrant part of the map uh, of the 75 meter hole. That's good. We can start here. Uh, so I've seen a lot of posts. Um, Recently, you probably have as well, uh, for people that have been fishing for the smaller stuff here up over the 70, 75 hole. So, you know, typically you want to just let it drop down about 15, maybe 20. My goodness. Oh, good. We do have a replacement. Um, maybe 20 meters. Perk it there and just try to catch small stuff. That's what we're going to try. It's 445 in the morning. Um, I've made some adjustments. What, what I've been seeing a lot of people doing is using two-aught hooks with these smaller shrimp. Red seems to be among the colors it's working good. So we're going to start off here with three eye hooks. I just, usually when I do this, even if it slows the bite rate down a little bit, I like to find a way to try to avoid the really small, like non-marker stuff and get a high percentage of marker fish. Again, even if it slows it down a little bit in the, in the big picture, I think it's worth it. So we'll start here and make adjustments if we need to. I just thought it might be interesting to kind of turn this into a video. Again, we're here at 75. Should be starting happy hour. We are indeed, and uh, it's 5 a.m. Let's get started. Especially once it gets going a little later in the morning, we will likely see um, quite a few bites on the drop as well. We are using blue fire stick, fire tube, uh, lurker. All right, so there's down to 20 meters. Let's just, we'll stop it at 20 for now. Uh, we can reel it back in as needed but I have found more recently, it seems like just perking it, you tend to get bites that way. You know, when I first started doing this, I would just like reel it in. If you didn't get a bite on the drop, I would reel it in really slow. Ooh, there's a nice blue whiting. You know, at that size, I don't mind as much catching them. What I don't wanna do is catch a bunch of 50 gram blue whitings. They don't tend to give me XP as, I mean, uh, level up as often, even in happy hour. There's another blue whiting. So it looks like blue whitings are pretty heavy right now. Um, mackerel, sorry, sardines, those species, marker, big, big versions of those species. I tend to get, um, I tend to get points a lot more often. So, um, kind of like to focus on those when I can. Oh, did you see that fish bite and then dropped off real quick? Somebody got, oh, that's awesome. There we go. All right, there we go. That's what we want, mackerel. So, so far, I'm definitely liking the three-aught hooks better than what it looked like people's results were that we're using the two-aught hooks. Um, so we may not need to adjust from here. We'll see. I Sometimes I'll put the bigger shrimp on uh, in this kind of situation. Let's just increase our retrieval speed. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of the retrieving, slow retrieval. I don't know if I finished my thought there. When I was... Really, when I fished like this a lot, um, because I was trying to get to 75% on marine fishing, uh, a lot of times I would do that slow retrieval thing. And it does work, but I don't know that it works any better or quicker than just perking it. Just get to the right depth and perk it. <clears throat> um, that seems to be the best. Ooh, whiting, that is so good. So good. You start getting some real silver and real XP, even though they're small fish, if you start working in some whitings. All right, let's see if we can stay on this. Right now, we're off to a banger of a start. Look at this, 84.3. This is what I'm talking about. Now, it's, it's early morning hours. This might just be particularly good at the moment, but...
100% markers so far. That's not going to hold up, but we're off to a great start. All right, that's what we want to avoid, right? So I'm going to release those. Wait, do I want to release them or keep them? I'll release them so we'll only see the bite rate of good of marker fish, basically. Wind picking up a little bit. There have been some blue whiting trophies caught up here. So I'm kind of hesitant to take the small shrimp off, even though sometimes I like to use the slightly larger shrimp for mackerel, that'll cut the blue whitings completely out. And I'm not sure that I've actually trophied a blue whiting yet because I always avoid them so harshly. Um, if we're catching decent markers here, I might, I might keep that possibility open. If you ever like don't like what you're catching, just change the elevation a little bit. Sometimes that can make a difference too. I'm kind of okay with what we're seeing so far. Stopping at 20, but we'll keep an eye on it. little mackerel there Is a nice bite rate. I will give you that. Mm. Those bigger blue whitings are not bad. XP wise, I'm not sure they're worth much silver, but every once in a while this happens. Probably safe. Sometimes we'll get hit Pollock Haddock, that kind of thing as well uh, on this setup, but it's nothing too scary. Nothing that really slows you down either. The bounciness of that made me think it was a safe. This new system is just amazing, catching bites. Uh, it is, it's such a welcome change to me.
eight minutes, 12 keepers. We can't keep that buy rate up, but whatever we do, it's looking pretty good so far. That means we had about, what, 16, 17 fish total. Another nice one. I, I never saw it come off. Thought it was still in there. I guess I just didn't look closely. The symbol must have disappeared as soon as it stopped. Uh, as soon as it stopped falling. Yeah, it's more blue whitings than I would normally be comfortable with. But obviously the bite rate is just insane. So to try to take advantage of uh, that possibility of getting marine points, still probably worth it. Uh, even though I like the spots that are just like full of mackerel and sorry and sardines a little better than these, but... Nice. All right. We're going to go southeast. Just a little bit. Right about there. I'm also going to make one little change. So on the on the farthest one down, we're going to go to a 12.4. This is what I was talking about before. If you ever want to like focus mackerel and avoid avoid some of the really small stuff, just increase the hook size just a teeny bit and go to the go to the 12.4 instead of the 6.54. Um, you will see a little bit of a change. You'll still hit the mackerel nice, uh, but you'll miss some of the other smaller stuff. Again, I don't want to completely miss the smaller stuff. I like the fact that we're catching some really nice whitings, but um, but I wouldn't mind moving the slider just a teeny bit. safe see the safe bounce that was on the bigger one it's okay we'll take a few safe here and there quick bite nice blue whiting and we got points Finally, we found a blue whiting to miss to disprove what I've always said, which is blue whitings never give me marine skill points. We found one that gave it to us. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna get sick if I keep staring at this. We may have to look more a little more up. 
Make sure the horizon is in view. We've gotten marine skill points twice. When we're this high level, 84.4, that's already a successful happy hour to me. That's already big time in it. Sort of changed to letting it drop to 25 for right now. Just gives it a little bit more time for drop drop bites to happen. And then but it's still high enough where I feel like we can immediately start perking at 25 and catch something good. Alright, we'll release that Pollock. Interesting. Maybe we should go back to 20. Could always reel it in a little bit before we start perking if it doesn't get on the drop. Man, these fast bites are so nice. Look at that mackerel. Whoo, 15 minutes. This is maybe one of the better little runs I've seen in terms of bite rate. Now, silver, I don't know, because I, again, I think blue whitings tend to be worth less on average than, you know, a spot where you're catching all sorry sardines and mackerels, but. It's still going to be really good for the amount of damage we're doing to equipment. Pretty much, you know, very little. We're making a lot of silver. Might just go ahead and recenter a little bit. The current must be pretty strong. We're getting pushed up to the northern part of this 75 bank pretty fast. There you go. That's a good mackerel.
fish got away. I, it's while I was trying to drink that real quick. It popped off apparently. What a mess up that was. Okay, interesting. Quite the quite the session we're having here. Another nice mackerel. Now I do trophy mackerels pretty often out here. It's really nice. That's a big mackerel on the 12 shrimp, by the way. We only have one of the shrimp up to size 12. The rest are still the small ones. But nice to have that chance of seeing that 12 hit a giant mackerel like that. 84.5, huge. Hey, it's a sardine. That'd be cool. All right, we're 23 minutes in around, uh, and we're at 33 keepers. So good. 
remember, 3-0 hooks, not 2-0. You just don't want to lean too hard into the smaller sized things that aren't markers and those aren't going to give you points in your marine fishing anyway. And they're certainly not worth anything. We're catching a really healthy percentage of markers of all these different species right now. Eighty four point six and another fat sardine time of day, right? Got to be time of day with the sardines picking up. Something. It's that time of day. If it's going to slow down, it's this time of day. Still catching some nice fish though. Now, when we get to evening, we're going to wrap this up. That means we're not going to get the full 24 hours in. Just to let you know, normally what I would do, by the way, Pollux like that are just beautiful. Obviously, bigger ones too, but that's a good little Pollock. Um, normally, what I would do in the evening, even like if I just kind of want to chill, this is pretty intense fishing in terms of like the catch rate we've got going. Just do something that's like, uh, you know, I'll get my bigger setup out, you know, put some fillets on or uh, just some bigger, bigger stuff and kind of fish at the bottom. Try to hit just two or three money fish overnight. You know, um, sometimes the sharks will bite at night. Just whatever. Just, you know, big cusk. And that 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 turns it from, you know, you'll see we'll see whatever silver this was worth during the day. If you complete the 24 hours with some decent fish, um, some money fish, then like then it turns it, it's like next level in terms of both leveling up your marine fishing, making good silver during the day, and then making really good silver for the full 24 hours.
So I, I definitely wouldn't keep using this setup once it gets past like 10 p.m. But I still would fish. I would just kind of fish at the bottom with throw a fillet down there or um, some squid on a drop shot or whatever. Nice safe. Even looking at the safe we've caught, you know, if there happened to be a cafe order for safe, there you go. You've got four of them. So it's always nice when this kind of setup just gets you enough safe to hit that cafe order or get you a little bit of bait if you need some bait. Eighty four point seven. That's four times it has skilled up, I think. Thirty minutes, four times. Nice mackerel. Really good balance of mackerel, blue whiting, and then a little bit of a bunch of other things. <laughs> it looks like it might be the same size fish. Yep. Thirty one minutes, forty four keepers. Over a fish a minute the whole time. And a little more than that, if you were to keep the non-keepers or count the non-keepers, but there really has been a great percentage of keepers though. And that's what you want. You know, just don't waste your time catching 80% non-markers. It's just not worth it. mackerel
They've definitely, I think, on average, maybe they've gotten a little worse here in the evening. It's still fine, still all, you know, almost all markers, but just not seeing quite as many big boys. Less likely to get skill up points, maybe. Um, no complaint, just, just noticing a little trend here at the end. Oh, that's a little bit, a little better. Almost 500 grams there. Ooh, I like that. We were just about to start perking and it hit. Hake out of nowhere and 84.8%. That means we are one to two skill ups away from 85%. What a session this has been. Probably go to about 21, maybe 22 if it's still strong, but usually by then I've stopped. We'll see how this looks though. It's been so good, I hate to stop. We're at 50 fish. Markers. See if we get that really one or two special evening early evening bites. It's not bad. Over the 500 gram mark is always good. Not so good. Better be a whiting. It does feel like the blue whitings have slowed down, doesn't it? I don't know, they kind of come in waves, I guess. It's a little weird. Ooh, that's a nice one. I called its name. Talked about him behind his back, he just came running. Come on, be a blue whiting. Nice mackerel. It's a monster of a blue whiting if that was a blue whiting. All of a sudden, healthy ones are coming out. Yeah, we're getting that evening rush now. Almost a kilo there. 998 mackerel. It's 55 fish. That's small.
nice little safe. So it's 2130. Definitely among our last casts here. Look how nice the sunset looks. I don't, I've not always noticed that. It's so pink and stuff. It's pretty cool. The wind is still really strong though. Oh, nice mackerel. Safe, small safe, I think. I hope not. Yeah. We had to work for this one. Come on, be a marker. Be a marker. Just wanted to hit 60. Yes. Oh, 84.9. Are you kidding me? What a session. 60 fish in 43 minutes. Okay, so this is the point that I was saying. At this point, I would switch to, you know, just get a two or three money fish. And then you're just killing it. All right, I'll be back right back. All right, let's see what we did. I don't even know. I, I'm not sure. I I have a better sense of how spots with mackerel and sorry do with a few sardine. I'm not sure about these mackerel and blue whitings, but I mean, the silver amount just almost doesn't matter based on how much we were leveling up marine fishing there. Okay, we'll, we'll skip cafe just for a second to see what we did. Ooh, wow. I mean, you get a you get just a decent little overnight fishing session there. Seven seven fifty. I mean, what a oh, so good. All right, so there's seventy two. There's wait eighty one fifty. We didn't have any of those. We didn't have a trophy that. So 150, 150, so 657 with cafe. Oh, let's look at price really quick. Yeah, always the whiting, right? Where do you see the first blue whiting? Right here. It's not terrible, but it just, it's nothing compared to, you know, some of the other fish in the sea, right? They add up for sure. It's okay to catch them, but uh, they're just 
like if you if you replace all those blue whitings with really good stories I, you know it's just it's even crazier but still that was a ton of fish so fun um, obviously if you want to see if you have any mackerel that fit into into any of the big baits or turn any of your mackerel or safe into large fillets small fillets whatever but also make some silver uh, level up your marine fishing hope this was uh, fun it's fun for me it's a good experiment glad we did it um, tight lines to you can't wait to see you again next time thanks for watching